certain that you would end up in this particular chamber, but here you are. Remember when we talked about trust? Well, this is it. If you trust me, leave the magnet gun at the rack and move down the corridor. Otherwise, I cannot help you. Hello everybody and welcome back to Magnetic Cage Close. This is part number nine. Yeah, part nine. And as Dr. Karen Womberg, I believe it is, Womberg has just stated, we are in a chamber that she didn't think we'd get to and she wants us to give up the magnet gun yet again. But it's going to be time for another choice. Um, I wonder what would happen if I tried to do it without. Might be interesting. Never actually tried it. I don't... How the fuck would you actually get past any of this? Spikes down there. Magnets there. This is all up to the ceiling though, but... Maybe quick turn round between the flames? Fuck it, I'm gonna try it. Uh, so we'd need to be facing this way. Let's put the gun up to max power. Nope, I didn't want to go there. I want to go up the wall. This is probably gonna be really awkward and I might only give it one or two tries before giving up. And just doing what she says. Interesting to see what happens if we do make it past, though. Right, like that. Then, if I quickly turn... Nope, that didn't work. You gonna say it again? I could not be ah, yeah, she's gonna do a little speech again. It must be doable. Remember when we talked about trust? I don't entirely trust you, love. If you trust me, leave yeah, you want me to put the gun in there? I'm really interested now to know what would happen if I did this without giving her the magnet gun. It would have to be flip round, right? Like, at the last possible moment, or just spinning around quickly. I want to try it. I want to try it again. If we keep dying, then fuck it, we'll keep dying. What's that? Is that just... No, it's just a random cage on the ceiling to protect that light bulb. Very important light bulb. Light bulbs are expensive in this day and age. Ah! Right, like that. We've already burnt ourselves a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I don't want to go that way. God, this is all. This is going to be really fucking awkward. But I want to know what would happen if you can actually manage to do this, because I never tried it before. I think the last time I played this, I just went fuck it and did exactly what she asked. Right. Okay, I need to like ah, no, 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 not burn to death. I need to flip around really quick, right? Like, like, ah, uh, see, it's doable. You can do your little speech again, Karen. I could not ah, I'm gonna have to hear this every time I try it, am I? Remember when we talked about trust? Must be doable. If you trust me, leave the magnet down at the rack and. That's the easy route. Just stick the thing in there, and I bet she turns off all that, and everything's happy. Go and open the door again. Let me have another go. I want another go, Karen. Ow. I think I banged my head on that. Yeah, so it, it must be doable, otherwise what's the point of all this stuff here? I mean... It doesn't look like there's spikes past there. Maybe this is just to, like, you know, fuck with the player. Because people are going to try it, and they're going to try it over and over. Wait. There isn't actually a gap there, is there? Ow, 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 ow. Ah, alright, fuck it, let's just... Let's do the easy way. Karen, do your speech so we can move on. I could not be certain that you would end up in this particular... Yeah, 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 open the door. Open the door, open it. I've heard you three times already, I'm not interested. Open the door, Karen. Open the door. Yeah, okay, I will give you the gun this time. I trust you. You're not possibly going to do anything to screw me over in a dystopian kind of gameplay kind of way. Now I've disabled the spike traps below. Have you? Ignore the magnetic plates and jump down. I don't know how long it will take until somebody notices. So Seriously? Run. Doesn't look like there's actually... There might have been enough of a gap to do it. Alright, fine, we're going this way then. What's that for? Which Warden Keen has no control over. Ooh, you it sneaky cow, eh? Better hurry. Yep. Good luck out there, I'll hurry as soon as you go ahead and open the door. Because we got a five-second crawl-through transition sequence to complete first, haven't we? 
Come on, Jeffrey, open your orifice. Uh, it's been almost the whole game and I'm still calling it Jeffrey's Orifice Tubes. I think it's almost done. I mean, I don't think we're all that far from the end. Can't be that much more of this game. Hello, door. What do you do? You just there to mislead me? Ah, uh, you're like one of those bloody doors in a Mr. Lambda perpetual testing map. Uh, let's go through here then, enter the transit, give me another transitional loading sequence. I get it. It's this or a loading bar, really. But sometimes a loading bar might be a little bit better. I can edit out a loading bar much easier than this. Okay, we're into our cargo container. And you're going to start it shuffling along. Nothing. Oh wait, no. You're Karen, I'm... Choice chamber. Yeah, yeah, we're getting to it. Seems like the program is finally working. Yes, because I am a genius. God knows what it is we're actually trying to do in this place. I'll get on with it. Who is this like a light bulb flicking past over there? It. Okay, we have docked, and now for the inevitably slow crawling through another tube. Yeah, open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. Yeah, I'm not sure how far away we are from the end. I think we're pretty close. I really can't remember anymore. I have played this through. Uh, I don't know what difference a lot of the choices make. Hello, this looks unusual. Hmm. Should I be here? What else can we do? Can we go this way? And go in here, can I? And what's down here? Oh. What about this way first? You're not going to let me go back? Oh, you do. So, this one doesn't open up, I take it, right? No, nothing. And if I drop down there, inevitable death, I assume. One of those long drops. One of those long drop deaths where it will just fade to black and you go, you died. Alright, this opened up, so we go this way. And... That way, I guess. I gotta jump onto this stupid thing. Another long drop down there. Don't see any more open doors. This game gives you options and choices, but I do believe it's pretty linear. So, in here, and what have we got in here then? It's, uh, you want me to jump down there? Well, you did mention that I had extra special strong bones. I was lucky, because th that, was, that was quite high. That would have shattered the spine, not the spine, shattered the ankles of your average inmate. But we're no average inmate, are we? We are some specialist test subject who's going to make our way out of here. Save the day, expose the facility for the horrible thing that it is. And we're just in a nice clean cell. Yep. No graffiti in this one, how, how dull. Right, which way do we go? I go this way first. I go this way first because it looks like the wrong way. Yeah, this is a dead end. A misleading dead end. So, really, there's only one way to go. Anything in? Can't do anything with these. Now what? Ooh. That way, eh? Or this way? What's this way? What's this? The staff area? Is this where the staff wander about? Is it just for decoration? There's nothing. There's a large donking noise going on. Chamber multiple zeros, okay. Ooh, hello. What's down here? Wait, isn't this the... That's the room I was, uh... That's where we started, right? That's like the get-to-know-the-game room. Okay, was there someone up here all this time, then? I go in here? No, another misleading door. I only get to go through the wide-open, brightly lit doors. Uh, Devon, get the tables. Another window to more or less nothing. What about this door with the red light? That will obviously mean no. Upstairs then? Okay, fine. Now, was this what led to the final choice of this game? Wow, that's bright. 
I think I'm supposed to go that way. Oh, oh, achievements. I got achievements for that. What the fuck? That was the end? Seriously? I could have sworn there was like a final choice ending to this game. Is it, wait, is this because I chose that passageway that was supposed to be the extra hard way? I thought there was going to be like a, you know, a load more, uh, load more puzzles and then Karen would take us somewhere and... Because when I played it the last time, I guess that was us there. That, that's us by the looks of it. When I played this last time, there was like this room and you got to make this uh, final choice. And well, in that one, what I did was uh, I took the choice that turned out we became the warden in a weird twist of fate type blah, blah, blah. Not really important, but it turned out Warden Keen, he was a former prisoner himself. And I guess they shipped him off and we became the warden and the cycle continued. It's not particularly interesting is it really I mean that was quite a dull ending we walked into the light and got a couple of steam achievements so yeah if you're going to play this game and I, I don't really know why you would now because you just watched me play through all of it you've seen all the spoilers and shit uh, yeah picking the left choice in the previous choice room is a really dull ending a really really dull ending yeah we, we just walked into the light uh, I'm not going to bother doing the multiple endings videos for this. This is the ending you get. This is the one I'm leaving you with, uh, and we're just going to run out the credits now. And yeah, thank you very much for watching this series. If you did, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, not nearly as good as Portal, but nothing really is. Uh, starting next week, there will be another video game series playthrough type thing, as you do on YouTube these days. Uh, is that music I like? And, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what it is yet. It'll probably be another first-person puzzle game, because, to be honest, I really like them. Yeah, I really like playing the first-person puzzle, uh, first -person puzzle games. I don't know why. I just do. I uh, make nice video series out of them. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh... Yeah, it's not a bad game and not the greatest game, interesting, and very much a portal clone. Uh, felt kind of like towards the end there that... What can I say, like, it felt like the levels at the end were like the ones they didn't really think fitted into the rest of the game, but they needed more games, so they added them to the game, if that makes sense. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that here. Thank you very, very much for watching. Until the next series of whatever, catch you later. Après tout le temps, des fruits de ces gamins